Cheapo. First up, Tool Tat. Wow, it's Poundland special time again already. And we're really stretching the use of the word special. Okay, I've been to Poundland and 99p stores and I've bought lots of things and some of them aren't really interesting, some of them are. I'm going to show you all now how this goes. Right, let's get on with it. First up, Pack Buster. It's like a ghost buster for packs. Yes, the pack opening multi-tool, or weird unhappy fish looking thing. All right, let's have a look around. New, can't be that new, it's in Poundland. Safely opens any package. Screwdriver, opens battery hatches and looks extremely flimsy. Cutter, snips twisty ties and plastic straps. You know, just like a pair of scissors. And is there anything else? Yes, blitz, blister blitzer, blister blitzer. Say that five times quickly. Rips through blister packs. Great. Does it rip through them and damage what's inside? Also, it just looks like a bit of plastic. What's going on there? Some sort of hidden blade, presumably. Oh, that's good. Hang on. Beat Rap Rage. Marvellous. Oh no, you have dolls. They are in boxes. Yes. Arg dolls. Arg dolls. Dolls. Arg. Fantastic. That's given us everything we need to know about why this exists. Oh, and how does it work? Slice. Snip. Unscrew. Relax. Except, of course, that's not somebody relaxing, that's somebody holding up a cheap product. That is not how humans relax. All right, we can look at the back of the package for no particularly good reason. Oh, hang on, explanations. Blister blitzer. Slide the thumb grip as shown to expose the blister blitzer. Press the pack buster directly into the packaging and pull towards you to cut. You don't generally cut things towards you, that's quite dangerous. Best to cut things away. Presumably it's got lots of safety guards and things. Hmm, not entirely convinced. Screwdriver. Slide the button as shown to extend the screwdriver. And then watch as it snaps off, I imagine. Oh, uh, cutter. Press the button as circle to release the cutter jaws. Release the cutter jaws. For a moment you can feel like a James Bond villain. Yeah, one year warranty, and visiting Packbusters registered trademark. Registered trademark of who? Doesn't actually give you a company name. Presumably Packbuster is the company. Wow, uh, yeah, packbuster.com. Hmm, wonder what's there. Probably lots of stuff about Packbusters. Right, let's open her up. Hang on! Hey, look at that! On the cutter, it's quite blatantly really rusty. The actual blade is incredibly rusty on the promotional photograph. <laughs> <laughs> That's really not blow boding well, is it? It's not bloating well either. What is a blowed? I don't know. Now I'm getting some weird memory of blowed. A song called Blowed and the Giant Bee. In fact, I'm going to have to look that up on Google afterwards. Anyway, enough of this toot. Easy open pack. Ah, extra bonus points for that. That is good. It's nothing like buying some sort of device for opening packages and not being able to get in the package. Anyway, tear here. Okay. Excuse me. Blimey. Doesn't come very easily. <gasps> wow! It's not very good. Yes, feels very, very, very light. Right, screwdriver. Scra Ooh, blimey, didn't mean to do that. Ooh. The deadly cutting blade. Mine's not particularly rusty. I've actually got one better than in the promotional photograph. In fact, hang on, let's have a close look. There's no rust on mine at all. I feel cheated now. Packbuster, your guarantee of tetanus. You've let me down. Anyway, yes, flimsy screwdriver. My goodness, that is quite flimsy, but uh, if you're only undoing the battery hatch to something, that'll probably do, I imagine. What's all this about? Ooh, hang on. It's got his little tail look. When you move that, the deadly blister blitzer, or whatever they called it, comes out. It's not very large, and presumably when you push forward, yeah, that goes in, therefore releasing the ultimate blade of death. Don't try this at home. <gasps> Horrifying, and probably illegal in most countries of the world due to its death-dealing powers. All right, well, let's find some packaging to open. And I've got this rather posh Doctor Who LCD adventure game to open, which some kind souls um, donated, and I'll be reviewing later. But today, we're just going to open it. Right, um, still a tape on this end, so that will be the blister blitzer thing. How do we... Uh, oh yeah, that's it. Uh, 
cut the sellotape. No, that's not really working because it's not a blister, presumably. Can I cut it with the... Uh... <coughs> Great, so pack buster's good unless you've got some sellotape on it. Right, open her up. I'm imagining... Oh, there's more sellotape. <coughs> good work, pack buster. <coughs> right, oh, I've torn it all. The resale value's gone through the floor. Right. The other end's just fallen open. <clears throat> Deep breaths. Don't get annoyed on camera. Right, let's have a look. Instructions. Ah, this is what I was hoping for. Twisty ties. Twisty ties covered in sellotape. The nemesis of the packbuster. Come on, come on. So, I'm still having great difficulty getting into the pack and can't even use the packbuster. Marvellous. Come on. Come on. Right, right, right. Here we are. Twisty ties. So you could untwist them, or use the amazing powers of whatever they called the cutting thing. Ready? Oh yeah! Now that is effective. You know, just like a pair of scissors would be. Marvellous. That's what the game looks like, by the way. Bit of a spoiler there for a future video. Um, do we have any blisters to blitz? Um, Actually, if I chuck this away and bring back the box, we can pretend that's a blister. Uh, how do we do this again? Oh yeah, that's it. Push down, push away. Yeah, that's um, made a mark on it and not actually cut it at all. Let's try harder. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Right, so it's not actually powerful enough to cut through plastic. A bit of a problem since that's the whole point of it. Perhaps I can't get enough purchase because it's moving in. No, saying that, look, I've obviously gone fairly hard. It's scored the bloody um, backing cardboard. It's just not sharp enough, is it? Well, there we go. That's the pack buster. I think the only comment I can give about this is I wouldn't want one of them swimming up my arse. Now some toy cat. Next up! I'll show you why this caught my eye later. It's a really bizarre thing to show you. Mobile Me, ages 3 plus, from Top Toys. It's a fake bright green iPhone. Try me, says a weird phone dialing itself. Great sound and speech, which is a form of mutant fruit. Uh, anything on the back? Battery replacement, blah, 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 blah. Not particularly interesting. But let's have a look at the thing itself. So say you're a small child, and you want to pretend you've got an iPhone, so you get one of these. You can fiddle the screen around so it looks like a fish, or looks like an iPhone screen. And you can press the buttons for great sound and speech. Oh, a bit quiet, batteries are probably going. That will be the camera noise. Ooh. What was that? Sound like the aliens from Mars attacks. Magic noises. Ringing. May I help you? <laughs> what? Now it's playing the first few bars from Yankee Doodle and an old modem dialing up noise. You know, just like the iPhone doesn't. It's definitely May I Help You, I think. Oh, I think we've gone through all the noises. I would have that in my ringtone in real life if I suffered brain damage. Uh, yeah, there's nothing else really in. Oh. Oh, it's got a stylus, you know, just like the iPhone doesn't. Bizarre. Now, the reason I actually got this is I was just uh, amused by the screenshot they've used of the iPhone front right there. Because if you look, it has a NES emulator, installer and finder, meaning it's jailbroken. <laughs> they've actually stolen a jailbroken um, uh, picture to use on it. Even fake toys are jailbroken. Look at the, the near the Safari thing there. Wellphone.com? Does that say Yphone.com? Is that a watermark from where they stole the picture from? Mmm. Naughty toy thieves. Anyway, that was just a matter of interest. I'm not going to review it. All right then, zero out of 50. Okay, and finally, just a small uh, heads up really. I noticed they've got lots of these in Poundland, which are obviously steering wheels for putting your Wii remotes in. Why is it of interest? Because I also saw them in a proper game shop in a cardboard box for £6. So if you particularly need a slightly funny shaped 
pretend steering wheel for your Wii, go into Poundlad and save yourself a fiver. Anyway, I'm going now. ta -ra! What the hell was that?